you really have to step back and really think about certain priorities in your life. Like, is it more important for you to have a new pair of shoes or buy a one-way plane ticket to Paris, for example? <laughs> like, it sounds so simple, but actually those are the choices you end up making, no? Ciao, y'all. Naturally Kenya here, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about how you can incorporate small luxuries into your everyday life so you can live your best dolce vita or sweet life as they say in Italian. So if you're new here, my name is Kenya. Yes, like the country. And I'm an American girl documenting my life while living abroad in Rome, Italy for the last seven plus almost eight years. Um, if you are new here, you probably wonder like, okay, what's on this channel? And it's basically me sharing all of my experiences while living abroad, tips I give you if you want to transition your life abroad, and basically everyday, you know, routines and helpful tips to make your life abroad and language learning skills potentially that much better so if that sounds good to you make sure to subscribe to my channel like this video hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload and let's get into the video so when I was thinking about this video I was really thinking why do tourists always come back to Italy why is Italy a place where people always come back to where they feel the most peace at times depending on you know which city you decide to travel to and it really made me think I think the reason why people really enjoy coming to Italy is because they get to indulge in maybe a slower life or an ability to really value the small things, right? And I was thinking this would be a wonderful video to do so I could kind of explain a touch of small luxurious elements into your everyday life that could make you think, hmm, now this is something I can value whether I am in Italy or at home or in any other country. These small little elements can really make you feel like a better person overall. And I wanted to share some of the things I've learned while living in Rome about this lifestyle that, you know, the Italians have and the values that are there. So let's dive into living this art, let's say, of La Dolce Vita in Italy and you know, let's dive into some of the tips I think I can give you to help you your, on your everyday journey. So first things first, I would really want to capitalize on some of the rituals you can do for your self-care. It takes, you know, a small initial investment to invest in your uh, skincare routine that will make you feel like the best version of yourself. If you invest in some quality skincare products that work for your skin, I think that invites the world to your aura and presence, and it can make you feel like, okay, this is me presenting myself to the world as the best version of myself. So that's number one. But while you're exploring in that Italian sun, make sure not to forget your SPF. The rays are strong, especially <laughs> during the summertime on those very sunny days. So make sure you bring your SPF and you'll be ready to go. Another thing I was thinking is like, you can easily incorporate aromatherapy into your routine, whether it's with essential oils or a nice scented candle. These can help set that spa-like feel to your environment and make you feel like, you know, you're embracing every moment. Another thing I would encourage you to do is really incorporate maybe a bit of meditation just to slow down your thoughts, kind of come back to yourself as well, even two minutes, five minutes a day. It really has helped me kind of slow everything down because my brain is just always on fast pace. And it really makes me feel like a better person when I'm able to take like two, three, five minutes a day to just really calm down and like sit with my thoughts of nothingness. <laughs> and then of course, there are experiences you can indulge in, right? So this is not going to break the bank or you may have a possibility to do so. But when I think about La Dolce Vita, that also includes like some balance of, you know, things, splurges that maybe we wouldn't do on a daily basis, but maybe we schedule for ourselves one time a month or twice, you know, every three months, who knows, just on your own calendar and how you can schedule it yourself. But you know, things that you can incorporate into your own routine, your schedule to make you feel like the best version of yourself and make you feel like you're living a little Dolce Vida. So the first thing I was going to mention is that there's always this opportunity to indulge in fine dining experiences, especially when you're in Italy. There are so many Mission Star restaurants that really set the bar really high. And I really recommend that if you do come to Rome, you set apart some time if it's in your budget to go explore these places because they truly are one of the kind especially whenever you are in a place like Italy where food is of one of the top values I would say in the culture in the society you have to you know 
take a bit of time and see how others are doing it, especially in a gourmet landscape. Um, I think you will really enjoy it. But of course, you don't have to just approach things from the fine dining perspective. You can enjoy a simple gelato. You can have pizza. You can have pasta that's really homemade and made with love. And you can also feel like you're indulging in something maybe of a more gourmet level, but on a better budget, <laughs> let's say. Additionally, you can indulge in wine tasting. I mean, when you come to Italy or you can take this also home with you, there's always this element of trying the local grape varieties, which really has the ability to set you in a different mindset about exploring the world. Like you're exploring the world through grapes. These all have particular characteristics, all of the different cantinas and places you can actually go to taste. It will really make you feel like you are living your best sweet life. And of course, another element I wanted to mention was really investing in certain fashion pieces that will really set you apart. These good quality, long-term investment pieces will make you feel like you're living your best life because it simplifies you having to go to your closet and picking out something that you know you wore one time. If you just invest in high quality pieces that last a lifetime, you'll simplify your getting ready routine in the morning. And honestly, it makes your life so much easier. Another thing I absolutely love that's really accessible here in Italy is the ability to travel. I really feel like that is really a uh, amazing experience that you can really set a high standard for yourself and not necessarily break the bank. There is the Frecciarossa or the high speed train all over Italy where you can really find wonderfully priced train tickets if you plan in advance because last minute it can get a bit crazy um, with the prices. Uh, but you can really explore a lot of Italy and I encourage you all to kind of look around and see maybe what experiences you can incorporate into your everyday life where you're not necessarily breaking the bank but you can still travel around whether that's a long you know joy ride around the neighborhood to I'm just thinking December like whenever you go see Christmas lights or something something that brings you joy I feel like it doesn't necessarily have to break the bank which is something I feel like we always see on social media like it is really apparent that things are really thrown in your face and can probably make you feel discouraged if you cannot get out there and explore on that level which many people are not exploring on that level anyway but social media will have you thinking that um, but I think it's really important that like you think about these small items in your life or small experiences you can have, especially in the travel landscape so that you can get exposure to different cultures and, you know, maybe a different part of town you've never been to. And it's just a small, small indulgent experience that will really change your perspective on your life or your city. Now, if you want to go to something more particular, um, this segment let's say of the video being more about embracing that roman lifestyle there are so many elements from italian culture you can incorporate into your daily life whether you live in rome or whether you live abroad so first things first i would say it has to do with the slow living embrace this art of slow living you don't need to be in a rush take a breath it's never that serious you know like you'll get there when you get there now don't be disrespectful to other people's time but you know you'll get there like just take a breath and take a second and to really get into your own routine. You know, maybe you want to arrive 10 minutes early, but that requires you to wake up, you know, 45 minutes earlier to get ready. You know, take it slow. Get up earlier just so you don't have to rush later on. And take a second to really embrace the beauty of your surroundings and also your family, friends, the connections you've made. That's really important. I think it's something that we don't necessarily value every day. We don't really reflect on it. But if you have a mindset of like, okay, hey, today I'm going to take it slow. It really allows you to really embrace those bonds and those connections over time. Another way you can embrace those same relationships is socializing. Now, Italians love to socialize. They really value family, friends, those close relationships. And you know, if you plan like maybe a weekly dinner with friends or twice a month is something that brings you all back together and you all have a second to really embrace that friendship and those bonds that have been made and just take a second to be like okay i really value you thank you for being there for me i really appreciate you know who you are in my life and that's something really really important i think for longevity additionally i would say you know get outdoors you know get outdoors have a little bit of outdoor living Go on a passeggiata, which is a long walk in the sun. Take a breath, embrace the nature around you, and just take a moment to really be present in yourself. And I think it will really help you slow down and embrace the best Italian life and your dolce vita. Another thing that's really so easy to get 
let me say, immersed in in Rome is the fact there's always some type of cultural event around. There's always a museum. There's always an art gallery. There's always a beautiful cathedral in your presence. So I encourage you to go out. And if that's not what your city usually looks like, there's always some type of cultural event going on. And I'm sure you can participate in something that will make memories and also learn something along the way. I think that's really important that we live in cities where we don't necessarily dive into the history of them. No, like when is the last time you've been to a museum in your city? Like, I wait. <laughs> I definitely know when I was in the U.S., I wasn't going that often to museums to see like, hey, what is this city about? What, like, how was this? Um, what are the most important, you know, neighborhoods or zones of the city and why? These are such simple elements that I feel like we don't really take much time thinking about. So if you go back to the roots and you really kind of start to dive into the culture of your city, see what events are out there, you may be surprised what you find. So what are some practical tips for incorporating luxury and, you know, living your best dolce vita or your best sweet life? I would say that it all comes down to prioritizing experiences over material possessions. I remember so clearly when I first moved to Europe and um, I would receive messages like, hey, you know, on a student budget, that's how I first came here on a st student visa. People would be like, oh, how are you going to, you know, how are you able to afford this or afford that? You really have to step back and really think about certain priorities in your life. Like, is it more important for you to have a new pair of shoes or buy a one-way plane ticket to Paris, for example? <laughs> like, it sounds so simple, but actually those are the choices you end up making, no? And so I always tell people like the biggest expense is probably getting yourself to Europe, but you may find, okay, the summer season is a bit crazy on the prices, July and August, but you may find that you know, it's much more affordable if you travel in off peak seasons to be able to explore much more than you would in like the US, for example, which is where I'm from. Uh, you would just be surprised. So I always tell people, try to prioritize experiences over material possessions. And I think that's something that, you know, um, the Europeans got right. I mean, of course, that's not everyone, but I think it's just in the mindset that, you know, having experiences, bring, bringing all your family friends together for like a lunch is has so much value. Uh, then, you know, let me go on a shopping experience to the mall for the 1,000th time, for example. But you also could create a budget for these special treats and then, you know, indulgent experiences, let's say. So it's not that far out of reach and you have like peace of mind when you're actually experiencing them. And also more than anything, I would really say, it really comes down to practicing the gratitude for such small things in your life. Like, okay, I'm so thankful I woke up today. Uh, I'm so thankful to be able to go on a run and have the ability to, you know, get out there and explore nature. Or, you know, I'm so grateful that, you know, I opened my refrigerator, I have food to eat this morning. Like it's such simple things that you can incorporate into your daily life that you really start to begin, oh, wow, I'm already living uh uh, Dolce Vita, I'm already living, you know, my luxurious life. It's such small things, I think, in this world at the end of the day that we need to be really happy. And I just feel like sometimes it's really difficult to get past all the noise, all the fog, everything you see like in the media. It doesn't take much to just live a very happy, you know, simple life, honestly. Um, and I think that's something that we need to really get back to and value. Also, if you really did want to add a touch of luxury to like your living space, you can always buy nice flowers or incorporate nice luxurious fabrics and decorations into your living environment. It's just a bit of balance. I always tell people it's all in the balance. And I think it's important to have that moment where you're like, okay, what are the values that I have and which one takes priority over another? And just overall, you want to make sure to incorporate elements that really speak to you. Incorporate Incorporate those self-care rituals into your routine to nourish your mind, body, and soul, and you'll definitely see the difference in the long term. So guys, I hope this video was helpful and gave you a few tips on how you can live your dolce vita or sweet life and small tips on incorporating luxury into your everyday life. I would love to hear from you guys in the comment section below. Let me know what are your self-care routines? What did you take back maybe from your trip to Italy and you saw how people lived and you're like, I'm incorporating that into my life? Or maybe it's just your experiences traveling abroad or maybe things you didn't even need to go abroad for. You just started to realize there are a lot of values in this life and things I can be grateful for. So I would love to hear your experiences in the comment section below. And thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for uploads. I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching guys. Ciao y'all.